Hello again, it's April here and welcome back to another video. This week we're going to be doing a studio vlog. I did promise one last week, didn't deliver. They do say that you should uh, under promise and over deliver and I definitely did the opposite of that. So this week we're going to have a really terrible, short, bad, unenjoyable, non-chatty studio vlog. See what I did there? And then at the end you'll be all like, wait a minute April, this is way better than you said. Uh, learning. Anyway, it is Tuesday. I'm doing studio vlog stuff, like like in, gen in general in, like, in my life. And I thought, oh, wait a minute April, uh, you should get this on film. <laughs> get this on camera so people know that you actually uh, do work. So uh, I'm doing some orders. I've got three orders. I got one at the weekend and probably forgot about it. I was like, I think I got it on Friday, and then at the weekend, I thought I'd done it. I don't know why, I just thought I'd done it. And then, turns out yesterday I had another look, and I had, I had it, I had this order that I had forgotten about. Uh, I think it was for Sarah. Sarah, I don't know if you watch videos, these vlogs, but if, if you do and you order from me and I forgot about you, I'm truly sorry. But I'm rectifying the situation now, because I got another couple that came in. <laughs> So it made me look at my orders again. I think it's because I haven't been getting um, lots of orders recently, like maybe one or two a week. So I just haven't been looking. I haven't been on Etsy much. But one thing we are going to do this week, guys, is a restock because this is dismal. I guess it's dismal right now. I'll tell you another thing we're going to do this week. Tidy up the office because I was going to do it last week. This is what I want to do. Have a little tidy up of the office and of my art studio and everything and do a little tour because I haven't done that so hopefully there'll be a tour coming up for the next couple of days because I do need to tidy up I'll just give you a quick once around wait is that is a once around dirty is that a dirty thing is that like a naughty thing I think I'm thinking about something else all right I've got my computer going all my post-its there need a ton of post-its and then over here I've got um, sticker paper that I have um, just I've got a box I've got some some I don't even know what's under there it's just like a rat's nest I've got my light here she's always falling down poor old baby Boris up there needs some brown leaves taken out of him and given a given a good water Gertie needs a dust and then I've got um some orders here that I'm doing that I'm printing stuff out for pack of stuff over there I've got these this is my happy mail I need to post today. The guillotine has just become, I mean look at it. What is this? What is this? Really should not be having super glue just laying out casually. And then the shelves, guys the shelves are a mess. What is going on right now? I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, it needs a good tidy up. A good tidy up. Tidy up's gonna have to wait till later because I've got to do some orders. So I need to make some room by just just kind of shuffling piles around, you know how it is. Okay, Gertie is down. She is very dusty. Look at this. Blech. This is the first studio vlogy thing I've done for like a week. Literally haven't done anything for Etsy for a week. But this week we're gonna change that. This week's Etsy week. It's Etsy week, baby! Right, let's get some bunnies on the go. These rainbow bunnies have been quite popular. Which is good, because I like these bunnies. They are some of my favourites. so myself right next up one I haven't done in a while the old houses well some of them are old some of them are newish I mean most of them are pretty old my printer was making this weird clicky sound just a while ago when I went to pick this up it was like going click 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 as it was printing and I think it's because it's got ink that I've been needing to change for a while and I probably printed about 25 sheets of paper while it's been on its warning, like, uh, change the ink, change the ink. So I thought I better change the ink. <laughs> I swear. 
aware that the printer tells you to change ink though when it doesn't need to. And then I think I'm going to have to do a bit of a inventory check today. Uh, I've got a long weekend this weekend though, so this vlog might even go till next Monday, which will be nice. So I should have plenty of time to do everything this week. And my battery is dying. I got this new charger from Canon, right? I thought getting one from Canon would be good. And turns out it's not as good as my original one that I got off my camera. The battery dies probably just a few hours after using the camera. Before it lasted a day up to two days, like two, three days. So I hope we find that other battery charger when we move. If we ever move. All right, Gertie, you're done. This isn't the most interesting and exciting background for packing, is it? Just like this boring old plain white desk. I don't have one of those cute packing stations that people have, you know, with like all the stuff around them. Cute stuff. I don't really know what I'm talking about, to be honest. So I'm actually quite busy at work this week as well. Right, I'm just trying to get these a little bit more like not all on top of each other because sometimes if they're all bulked up on top of each other you can't get it through the leather hole it puts the postage up basically because if everything's in the envelope and the, the sticker pack is quite bulky it won't go through here and that's the cheap one you, you want that one and then we got the chickens which I had the chickens but I didn't have the backing cards so we get to do one of my favorite things cutting paper without cutting my fingers yeah i'm quite busy at work this week because we've got a lot of work on but not only that um the my lead like the guy in charge of our entire kind of department is on holiday for a week another guy is on holiday he's like the second i guess he's in charge of the other team someone yesterday ended up having a dislocated shoulder so I had to do his work and my work because his work was quite important. It wasn't much though, it was like three hours work and then I could do my one. And then I'm starting a new project, like a big video project and it's going to probably be about, I think it's nine weeks maybe? It's up until the middle of October. So it's going to be a long project and I don't have a break. Basically, after this bank holiday, I don't have another. I don't have another break until mid October. Well, I'm trying to get a holiday off. I'm trying to. I have to see if it's approved yet. And then me and Martin might be going away for a weekend, just to like a little, a little weekend trip somewhere. Because we have these uh, flight vouchers. We have these flight vouchers from British Airways, from when my mum was going to come visit, like. 2020 like March I think then all you know everything went went down so all the flights were cancelled and uh, we got this um yeah we got like 200 pounds I think so we were looking at flights and I think we can probably pay about 100 pound more to get a couple of return flights to Portugal I think that's where we're going to try and go never been there before And these packs are a lot better for getting through the mail than these ones because these ones are so skinny so i think when i've run out of the um sleeves for these ones i'm going to redesign the back and cards and just put them in here i have also been thinking about moving to glassine instead and then i wouldn't need a back and card i could just instead of doing a back and card i could put them in the glassine and then maybe have a sticker for each one like so for the chickens I could have like a little chicken sticker for the birds I could have a bird sticker and then the sticker would like represent what was in the pack and it would say like chickens on it or something and then it would have a little chicken and then I could just use that the glassy instead I'm thinking about doing that tell me what you guys think because I do like these as well but also I think it might be nice to move away from this because I don't know this this isn't very good at being recycled I don't think because I think it has to get to a certain temperature over a certain period of time when it's like composted and also they all come with these bits on the back which is obviously plastic so yeah maybe I'll do that because I've almost run out of these so I could just get 
some glassine bags that fit these and just test it out, you know? All right, so I think that's everything. <gasps> it's everything, guys. We can start packing the orders. How exciting. Endangered animals, endangered animals. That's an oldie. This was my, very, my one of my very first sticker packs in the shop. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of it soon because it's not really my style anymore. Like if you look at, look, look, just, okay, let's just have a quick look. Look at that chicken there. Look at that chicken compared to these chickens. Like it's very different. So I think I've got about 10 of these left. I think when they're gone, I think I'll, I'll take them off the shop. And then they also brought Llamas in Love, which is one of my favorite sticker packs. They're not very popular, but I like them. And then Elephant Sticker, and then another Girl's, girl's Best Friend. Um, and now I gotta see if I have any freebie stickers. <gasps> yes, I've got enough. Oh, amazing. And I think also I'm gonna pop in. We've got some stickers just left over from Patreon. So they're a bit different. So they can get one. Um, apart from Rebecca, who I think we'll have one anyway. So I'll give a horsey. And then I've also got my Happy Mail from Patreon, Happy Mail for Patreon, which I need to uh, send out today as well. So for these, I actually, for most of the international, well, for all the international ones, I go on click and drop and I have to basically create a new order. You have to do your IS, IOS, ISO, IOSS number, which is the tax number for going to Europe, I think. Each different company has a different IOSS number. So Patreon has a different one than Etsy. So basically when you go to click and drop you can create like a trader name so i have to make sure that it's in the right trader name i have this dress book which i have all of my happy mail patrons in with their dresses and it's pretty simple you just basically create an order from your dress book and then you just go through everything as normal so you add the uh, weight of it you add the postage that you want to use and then for the actual items you have to add them yourself manually so I have them all set up already there's a whole bunch of junk in here too just because every time it brings in from Etsy it brings in the name of it but I've set my own things up with uh, all the codes and stuff they need tariff codes so basically you go through pick everything so in this case this one has a sticker sheet a sticker pack and two prints and then I basically make everything zero quality and then on the label I tick gift because I think that's what you're meant to do for Patreon. That's what I've heard. And then I just print the label out as normal. So yeah, pretty simple. I just thought I'd show you that real quickly, just in case you guys use Click and Drop if you're in the UK. Click and Drop's awesome. I definitely would recommend it. Hello there. It's evening now. Oh my word. My watch says I've started a run, but I definitely haven't. My watch accidentally starts runs about four times a day. Um, if I didn't delete them all, I would look like a, a very fit person. But I don't know actually, would I? Because it's like, six hours run that i basically like went no distance because i've just been sitting in this chair i don't know anyway it is seven o'clock in the evening just finished dinner just switched over my computer and i'm very happy to say yes during the day i have tidied the office yay um i'll show you but i just want to show you this little list i made I made this little list called let's clean the house by saturday because i want it to be nice and clean for the weekend and then I basically wrote all the things that need to be cleaned and then uh, next to them I wrote who's gonna clean stuff <laughs> so yeah yellow is me and blue is Martin so basically I've tidied the office today let me turn the light on whoa that's better so yeah here we go I've organized all of my shelves and dusted them all I cleaned up this big pile of rubbish that was here cleaned up the big pile of rubbish that was on there I gave Boris a bit of a, a trim because he had some leaves and you probably can't tell but Gertie has a new face because uh, I accidentally like tried to clean this with like spray like and basically wiped her entire face off <laughs> so I do have some extra stickers which is all good and got it all tidied up here just about to finish a video for Patreon that I'm gonna post. Still need to hoover the floor and stuff, but it's pretty much there. And while we're here, look, I can show you these guys. 
So these, I ordered these last week. I would have shown them last week, but I didn't, I didn't film anything. And these are going to be my thank you postcards for my next update, which hopefully is going to come out mid-September. So they are the, oh, what are they? Sunflowers? Yeah, I was going to call them daisies for a second. They're the sunflowers that I drew on stream a few weeks ago. And on the back, I just did the crow and it says, thank you. And then there's some space here to write a little note. So yeah, I'm really happy with how these guys turned out. I've got a hundred of them. So should last two or three months, uh, maybe six, who knows? Um, but yeah, really happy with them. I did went with um, banana print. That's who I went with, banana print. So yeah, just pop them up there, done. So my plan for the rest of the evening is to crack on got to finish a couple of videos well I got to finish one video for Patreon I actually have one drought tonight that I haven't started yet because I forgot about it it's a uh, sketch and chat so I basically just sketch in my sketchbook and then I do a little voiceover of all like my favorite movies and TV shows and music and games I've been playing that month or watching or reading or things I haven't liked so a bit of complaining there too because I'm English and we love to complain so yeah I'm gonna crack on with that and I think that's all I'm doing tonight and a bit yoga maybe later so that's all for me I'll be back tomorrow because we need to get going on this Etsy stuff so I've got a lot of stuff planned so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow it's about Thursday it's not about it is exactly Thursday 8 30 p.m. roughly I'm really tired tonight and um, the last couple of nights I've been tired as well I don't know what's wrong with me because I've been getting enough sleep like Although, to be fair, they have been working, working on the trains down the road and for the last couple of nights and they've been doing lots and lots of road, like, not road works, but stuff with the rails and I think, oh, Martin, Martin? They've been dropping the rails or something, I don't know, but it causes this massive bang that it just echoes up and down the street. It sounds like someone's setting off missiles or something. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if it's that, but I just haven't really been feeling like doing anything. Last night I actually got in bed at like 8.30, not in bed, but I laid in, well, I, I was on the bed at 8.30 watching like YouTube videos until I went to bed. So I thought tonight, even though I'm tired, I'm going to try and do something um, not very strenuous on my mind uh, or, or mind, body, soul, spirit, creativity because I, I just can't right now I don't know I've got my sketchbooks I've got one sketchbook two sketchbooks I've got these three sketchbooks and I I'm just have to go through what I've scanned in what I haven't scanned in because I can't remember so a couple of vlogs ago I went through these sketchbooks and I kind of showed on my vlog I, I showed on the vlog uh, with these sticky post-it notes what I was gonna scan in for this update now I can't remember what they are this is the last post-it note piece of paper so I have no idea I have to go through them again but on my computer here I've got like this I've got this folder called scans and it basically has every single sketchbook that I've done so far with pretty much every scan unless it's like a swatch page or something so they're all numbered so 19 is this one here used to be 17 but I changed it to 19 I miscounted the numbers are kind of arbitrary like I don't actually know how many sketchbooks I've had because sometimes I work two or three at a time like right now I'm working across like four I think so they're not really in order I just like to number them just so I, I have them so I'm gonna be working with these three here the two Strathmores and the Talons and then if I go into the Strathmore one this one's the most organized so I have my scans in here and these I scan in on my Canon Lide Lide Lid Lidi a scanner 220 I think it's I think it is and I scan that in at 600 dpi just normal and then I just bring all the scans into Photoshop and then I have my Photoshop ones here so I think these was when I was making should we just open one I think this is when I was doing like stuff for Instagram so I'm not going to use these I probably just re like I'll redo stuff. I'm not going to use stuff I've already done probably because I might have changed it for Instagram or you know made the colours brighter or stuff like that. I have that and then if I go into exports I think these are all images that I did for Instagram so these will all be too small um, to make into anything but that's basically the plan. So tonight I'm going to go through the books and basically scan everything in that hasn't been scanned in and then I will probably 
put them all into a folder like for Etsy just so I know like I haven't have them organized so for example yeah these are my royal talents ones and I don't have hardly anything scanned from the, my sketchbook in here so I've got to go through and get them get them all scanned in so that's what I'm gonna do now I just thought I'd let you know what I was up to and let you know how I was feeling because I know there's probably gonna be a bit of a gap hopefully at the weekend I perk up a bit I think it's because uh, one of the main reasons I think is because it's been noticeably darker every night now like it's dark eight-ish and I don't know why but the summer seems to come on so slowly like the nights get gradually longer but you don't really notice it getting longer so suddenly it's almost 10 p.m and it's light outside and then it, it almost seems like it's like that for ages and then suddenly one week it's like you know so sudden that it's dark again and it feels like very unbalanced like the summer comes on so slowly or the light hours come on so slowly and then suddenly it's you know soon it's gonna be dark at like 4 p.m and it just kind of gets me down a bit because then you think i can't go for walks at night time now like i can't go to the forest i can't film i don't really want to draw because i'm just gonna have like the ceiling light on and i don't know i've never really been affected by the like seasons like that before so maybe i'm just getting old <laughs> i don't know uh but i've always loved like i'm still looking forward to fall and winter i love the colder months i love being cozy you know things like that but i don't know i guess it's just uh, just the dark nights closing in a little bit making me feel a little bit sleepy so i'm really happy it's long weekend this week we have some things planned for the weekend so i'm looking forward to the weekend but I'm gonna get on before it gets too late. Probably watch some YouTube and scan uh, scan these bad boys in. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello, it's Saturday morning, it's about 10.30 and I'm going to get lots of work done today but first I thought it would be nice to give a little studio tour where everything's nice and tidy. I don't know why, I just really felt like doing a little mini studio tour and I think I just needed an excuse to like have a good tidy up and organisation so that was what I was using as my excuse. So normally on um, a Saturday morning Matt and I get up, play some Minecraft for an hour, have some breakfast but this morning disaster struck we um came on and we saw this here can't connect to server so basically about three months ago martin found this blog which let you set up a free server for life using oracle which is like a cloud-based system i don't know what it is so he set it up and we've been merrily playing minecraft for like every week for three months have a nice little world got all my farms got all my villagers about to make a gold farm on the nether roof which is the first time we've ever done that so i was pretty excited to start today and then this happened so he went on to the support people and apparently he was on a free trial of the software and after the free trial it deletes everything deletes the server deletes the world and the guy was like oh you can make a new server now and it'll be free and Matt was like we've lost everything so r.i.p minecraft world that was a good one but Oh well, never mind. So instead we played some Overcooked until we got frustrated because that can get so frustrating if, if you guys have ever played Overcooked. It's the worst. But before we start the day, let's do a quick studio tour. So I'm going to start in the art studio over there, aka the bedroom. So we're in the bedroom, just the bed right here. So you can see how close I am to like the art studio area. On my wall I've got some lovely artwork over here by different artists and then some stuff on my shelves. I actually really like this little corner of the room. Just a shame how close it is to the bed. <laughs> because this is Martin's side of the room. The poor guy has no space. Anyway, let's begin. So this is just a crappy old desk from Argos. Sorry about all the plugs under there, it's a bit of a mess. And this is actually the very first place I made art. So before I had all of this other stuff, Sorry, there'd be a truck outside. Before I had all of this other stuff, I literally just had this desk, some old pencils, and some old sketchbooks. And now look, I've got crazy stuff everywhere. So, let's start with the shelves. I've got my lovely plants. These are some of my Numid art materials that I have been enjoying using. Got all my pins here. 
paint brushes my Karen Dash, I love these my Llama, some more plants these are like some random I've been meaning to do something with them they're kind of like little bits of scrap of collage stuff got my Christmas candle there this is Felix, he's always putting prickles in me and then over here I have these very dusty cactuses, cacti that I made from Casey Golden tutorial which is really fun and then these three paintings are part of my mini masterpiece series that I only ever did three of I do want to get back into that though because that was a fun little series and then on my desk I've just got my lamp this calendar that I never look at, I always keep my pencils on my lamp, um, I always keep my pencils on my desk, my salt lamp, this here, which is okay, it's actually not plugged in right now, but you just tap it and it turns on, and then my arm, which I always keep here, or I put it um, on the desk there, and then obviously my iPad for YouTubes, and then the drawers are a little bit of a mess, so this top one I use the most, I've got my mini print, my mini printer here, which I never use, I should start using it because Martin got it for me as a gift. And then I have these two little boxes here that just have like random stuff in, like stamps and this electric pencil sharpener. This keychain I got from um, South Africa two and a half years ago that I've been meaning to give to my sister. Um, some paint. And then at the back here I have, I think I showed these in a couple of vlogs ago, all of my sticker sheets and my stickers that I've been collecting from other people. And of course, what every person should have in their drawers a wide range of post-its because post-its are the best the second drawer is the uh, the second messiest I've got some pen pal stuff in there that I keep meaning to write to but I haven't um, random stuff, some clay old pens and stuff that I don't really use much like ink pens and then I sorted out all of my pens the other day and these these are all the pens and pencils that I don't know what to do with um, so I just put them in here for now and hope that an answer comes to me later on in life. So I don't really go into these two drawers at the bottom. This last drawer is the messiest. It's like a junk drawer right now. It just has all heaps of stuff I've just chucked in. Like it's got all pencils. I don't even know what it's got in there. A hole punch. You know, um, an old bullet journal. Some paper. <laughs> don't know. I think, do we all have one of those drawers? I hope so. And then lastly I've got this trolley, which is not one of those super fashionable trolleys from Hobbycraft. It's the cheaper version from Argos, I think. It's like, um, it's actually meant to be a vegetable rack. It works quite well though. So at the top I have all the stuff I use the most. I don't really use much of this though. Got all my black pens, biros, ink pens, copy markers that I never use, Posca pens that I never use. I actually use these markers more than anything. These are like the water-based markers. And then we got the Winter Newton, which I like as well. Got some paint there. Moving down, we got more paint. Acrylic gouache, gouache, watercolours, spare acrylic gouache in there. A whole bunch of like extra stickers and misprints and things like that. And then moving down, we've got my palettes, heaps of ink, never use. <laughs> And then lastly, a whole bunch of like packaging stuff, my light and pencil box and some Ganzai Tambi um, paints I, again, don't use. So I've basically been in this room since 2017 when we moved in. And like I mentioned, I just started with the desk and some colour and pencils and a sketchbook. And then over time, as like I've explored more with art, I've got more materials. So I went through a whole watercolour stage, which is why I have a whole bunch of watercolours that I don't use much anymore. I went through an inking stage and then I went through my acrylic gouache stage and now I'm kind of in like a mixed media stage I guess. So even though I don't use a lot of the materials I have a lot, I still, I don't want to get rid of them because I, I think one day I'll go back into them or I'll explore more, you know? So like pens that don't work obviously I'll throw away, I'm not a hoarder but I don't want to, don't want to throw away watercolour paint, you know, just because I'm not using it right now. Because, like with my gouache, I didn't use gouache for ages and ages. I was just using acrylic gouache. And then I started using gouache again a few months ago. And now I'm loving life. So maybe I'll get back into watercolour one day. Maybe I'll become a Posca pen artist. <laughs> I mean, it could happen. That's not going to happen. So, yes. Uh, I started here in this room. 
and slowly I have built up everything around me over time. It's been great. Would love to have my own room, but this will do for now until we move. And then when I opened my Etsy shop, I had to slowly encroach on other areas of the house. So as I made like stock and everything, we ended up um, buying furniture, like we bought that Ikea thing in the office so I could put my stock there, bought another table for packing. So basically the bigger, like not the bigger, but the more stuff I've had, like, the more involved with art than art business side of it, uh, the more stuff I've got. So let's go into the office and I will give you a little tour about of my uh, Etsy stuff in there. So now we go into the office, just for context, that's the bedroom, this is the office. So we use this office for our day jobs as well. So Martin sits over here, I sit over here, and then around me I have all of my other stuff. So before we used to have just like a kitchen table in here and some, you know, I don't know, crappy, a crappy bookshelf. But then we got this Ikea unit and it is awesome. I really love this unit. And we got some fancy lights behind it too, which is really fun. So we just have some like memorabilia. A lot of the stuff is in Martin's parents' attic actually. But we've been collecting these fluffy toys from everywhere we go. This is a Dassie from South Africa. We have the orangutan from Martin's birthday when we went to Monkey World. I think this is an Easter thing. This octopus I got when I was visiting my friend in London. This is when we went to Kew Gardens for my birthday. This was Loch Ness from the Loch Ness Monster. And that bear I think is a Valentine's gift. And then moving over this side this is like Etsy stuff. So in here is my big paper basket. Which is completely chock full of paper right now because I haven't been making paper for ages. I've got my notebooks up here, as you can see, not much notebooks here, I need to do a restock of those. I've got memo pads in here, which is very empty, I need to do a restock of those. Packing stuff, new postcards, packing stuff, packing stuff. Then I've got my guillotine here. This sometimes sits up there, but I found it more helpful just to have it down here, just in case I get notebooks and stuff coming in. I keep this one in here for when I'm streaming or when I'm just filming on this desk. Of course we got our friend Gertie, we got baby Boris, we got my old printer that doesn't work anymore, got this ring light which is really ha handy, I really like this ring light. And then underneath a whole mess of wires and I put my laptop, this is my laptop from work, I put it on the floor at the weekends. Um, probably should put it somewhere better but I don't. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff under there, Lego. Um, more envelopes, packing stuff, packing stuff, notebook stuff. These are all seconds notebooks that I need to do a sale on. So yeah, that's that side. And coming over here, you can kind of see me in the Minecraft window. Hi. Um, I've got my microphone. I've got my stream deck behind there. This is where my laptop goes. These are all my cables for my laptop for work. I've got my printer under my computer there. My label printer. And then I've got this, these drawers here, which have all of my stickers in. So these are single stickers. They're very empty right now because, as I've mentioned a hundred times, I need to do a restock. These are sticker packs. And then this is my, my junk. <laughs> this is my junk cupboard. So these are like spare um, inks for this printer that I'll probably never use because the printer's broken. These are all like receipts that have been in my pockets that I need to sort out for tax. I know, I'm, I'm the worst. And then I think it just gets junky and junkier the more you go down. It's just like spare stuff. I literally never go in these drawers. Yeah. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff I can do to tidy up more, like organize, you know, better in here. But it's kind of working for me now. Um, when we move, I'm going to do like a big re, we're going to have like a big reshuffle. So basically what we're hoping to do is Martin has his own office where he can do his day job. I'll have my own office where I can do my day job and that will also double as like Etsy stuff. So all the stuff behind me, it'll basically be like this room. And then also another room where I can do my art, have my art studio. So either a space in the dining room or if we're lucky enough to have a conservatory, some of the houses we've seen have conservatories. Or if it's like a bigger house and there's like another smaller bedroom. So that's what we're hoping anyway, but we'll see. We're still looking for a house. It's been 
Uh, it's been a struggle. There's no houses, guys. Literally no houses popping up. So we're just going to have to keep looking. But that is the office. So this was what it was like for a good couple of years in here. I was just using that printer over there. And we like got the Ikea stuff, everything kind of built up around us. And then I got my big printer. Now where's that big printer going to go? Because it's huge. <laughs> the lounge. That's right. So this is the lounge. Martin's playing the most boring game ever known to man, Pokemon. And we got this hall set up basically when I got the new printer because we had nowhere to put it. So <laughs> I don't know if like having my art business has helped the flat get more furniture, probably has. I keep all my plants here right now because they're loving life with each other. And then this is my new printer. Well, it's not new now, I've had it for like a year, but this is my big printer. And then under here, I keep all of my paper. So again, it's a little bit messy in there. I've got some extra inks and I've got all of my sticker paper, my printing paper, some cards and envelopes down there. It's a bit of a mess, like most things in my life. So that was the studio tour in three separate rooms. Well, all, all, all of it was a little bit messy, even though I have done a tidy up last week, but hey, that's life. So I hope that you enjoyed the little tour. I don't know why I wanted to do it. I just thought it might be nice to show you guys. So I actually have a couple of more little bits to show you before I start work today. So uh, let's go. So like I mentioned behind me on the wall, I've got other people's art up there and I would love to fill the entire wall of people's art because I do have a bunch of it like hidden away, but I just have to like refresh it every now and then um you know because i don't we're not actually i'm not even allowed to have that up on the wall so we're not allowed to anything on the wall i'll, I'll land a little, a little bit like that um so i bought some new art last week from a couple of my favorite artists and i really should i was thinking the other day i probably should try and start branching out because i keep buying from the same people all the time but when you like something you like something you know the first artist i bought from was Art with M. This is her business card. Super cute and colourful. And she's one of my absolute, like, since I found her, I think last year, I love her videos and her art so much. So she came out with a new series of, like, collage prints. And I literally, I love them. So I had to buy them to go on the wall. So this is the first one. It's like a little plant, kitcheny. No, it's like a little pot in the shed I think yeah that one's really nice this one here which is like a house and a garden and then this one which is my favorite which is like a little seaside town so cute I love it I don't even think cute is the right word for this I think it's like artistically stunning um so yeah I gotta pop those up and then I also got this little thank you I think this is a little baby thank you card postcard flowers and yeah that's it and also there was this in it which i like it like says that the bag that everything came in is made from potato starch i have been thinking about doing that with mine i might do that when i switch over to glassine so that was art with them i also have some of her other prints on the wall at the bottom the fans kind of hide in them the second person i bought from was scott flynn who's a mandy lesson and that's a business card and I love how different these two artists are, but I just, I love both of their work, but they're like completely different from each other. I got a whole bunch of freebies from Scotflin, which was amazing. I didn't expect it. I'll show you all the freebies I got first. I got this, which I don't know. I think I might have this, but I have this sticker already. It looks like it glows in the dark. I don't think it does. That would be cool if it did. And then this cute little bear. And then I love this one. It's sparkly. I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but can you see that? It's like sparkles. How cool is that? And then this is these are what I bought. So I bought this one here, <laughs> which the face cracks me up so much. And I love how big these are. Like they're such big, nice big stickers. Oh, I think this was a freebie as well. Witchy stickers. Witchy stickers for witchy season, which is coming up soon. They're really cool. And then I got this postcard because I love this cat. I got this thank you card. And then we go into kind of the ve uh, ve vegan uh, stickers here. So not your mum, not your milk. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dairy is Scary sticker pack, which I thought was nice. And then 
I got this chicken pin. So I actually have on my pin board, I have a cow pin already from Scott Flynn and I can put my chicken pin on there. <laughs> if I can find the room, I think I need a new pin board. <laughs> Those are some new little bits and pieces I got. I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna change up the wall now and stick on my new artwork and then I will give you a little art tour and we'll see who's left on the wall. I've got everything on the wall. I just wish this fan wasn't here. So annoying. When is autumn coming? So on the top there, there's some Lee Elixin, Jess from Jess Was Here, um, up with um, some more Jess, Lee Elixin again. Then I've got Morgan Grease, Emily Philby, up with um, Scott Flynn, Raha illustrations, Scott Flynn, Emily Philby, Morgan Grease, and Yopolis. And up with them, not on the bottom here. And this is from Rosie from Pin and Ink. Oh, and by Amy. So yeah, I mean, I have like probably the six or seven or this just six or seven people up there, but I really should try and get some, some no peeps. So this morning, I think I'm gonna do something a little bit chill. Uh, this, we started last night on the live stream that I did. So uh, I've got all these little foxies that I'm gonna make into like a uh, fox sticker pack. Uh, I might not include all of these actually because I don't like this one. So like if I don't include that one, that's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's still seven stickers, which is quite good for a sticker pack, I think, because they're, they're quite big. They'll be big stickers. So yeah, I just, I struggled with this one last night. I just couldn't figure out how his tail was connected to his body. It just looked super awkward. Um, yeah, I just didn't like that one. So basically last night what I did is I just went on, I thought I was gonna get this entire thing finished, <laughs> which I really should know better by now because I end up chatting. But we basically just went through, and I mean, if you've seen me do this before, it's super easy, you know? I just do a, a fill layer, I put some texture on because I thought that was quite nice and then shadow shadow highlight highlight and then little dotties some pops of color and that's it call it a day only thing I don't like is how smooth his head is there because I rubbed I erased some of the texture off from his head so I might redo that so that's basically my plan I'm gonna go through do the rest of those foxes this morning it's like 11 now so I can probably get them done by lunch probably have a late lunch today and then this afternoon I'm gonna get on the computer and we're gonna do some stuff with those uh, scans I scanned in so I have to go through them all think about what ones I want to outsource as postcards and then I'll start with those first and hopefully by the end of this vlog we will have our postcards shipped off ready to be printed and cut somewhere else somewhere else which will be nice and I think if I can just get that far this weekend with the product so this sticker pack the postcards and then I also want to try and do a restock maybe on Monday um yeah we'll see how it goes because I've got a long weekend this weekend Sunday's gonna be completely like completely written off because we're driving to Martin's parents gonna spend probably most of the day with them having lunch going for a walk driving back and then it's quite a long drive there and then you know chatting with people all day it's a bit tiring so probably just start uh, chillax on Sunday and then Monday back to it but I'm way too far ahead in the future. I really need to contain myself and my excitement and just focus on today. So yeah, I'm gonna get going with this and I'll see you a bit later. Oh no, no, no. Oh. No, Gertie, what have you done? What has she done? Why she do me like this? Started off good. Didn't end well though, did it? I have no idea why it's done this. I just wanted to print these lovely little foxes out and show you and be all like, hey look, I printed the foxes out and cut them and they're ready now. But Gertie has to be all like, ugh, on a Saturday afternoon. God. 
Hello, it's Monday here. Monday in England. It's a bank holiday today, so I'm off. Everyone's off. And we just went into town, got some burger mama, which is like an Asian restaurant. It, it wasn't the best, to be honest. I don't know, I was a bit disappointed. Just disappointed today with it. And now I'm feeling a bit sick <laughs> because uh, they had this dish called bang bang cauliflower, and it's basically like an entire bowl of cauliflower with like oil. oil chili oil and other stuff on it like a kind of like a fire it's called a firecracker sauce mine doesn't like cauliflower so i always order it because i really love it but then i forget how filling an entire bowl of cauliflower is and that's just going to be a side dish so i try and eat all of it because cauliflower is meant to be it's good for you i'm not a big fan of cauliflower i actually just like the sauce that comes with it but i eat the whole thing and then i'm like i feel really sick because it's just a lot of fiber you know what i mean anyway moving on yesterday Yesterday was Sunday. We, uh, like I mentioned earlier, basically didn't do anything all day. We drove up to meet Martin's parents. It's our police car. Woo, 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 woo. He's after the bad guys. So uh, we went up to visit Martin's parents. It's like an hour and a bit drive there. And then we just had a chat. They were redoing their kitchen and they're redoing their dining room and everything. So we were looking at like kitchen catalogues. His mum was showing off her new kitchen to us. It's not done yet, but like what it's going to look like and everything. So we did that for a little bit, <laughs> quite, a, quite a long bit actually. But that's quite nice. It's nice to like think about decorating. I don't know. I like looking at things like that. And then we went for a walk. It was really sunny out and we went to a place near Halen Island, which is in the south of England. And it was a beautiful day. We didn't walk very far, but we did see some lovely um, flowers and boats and everything. And then we had lunch out. It wasn't a very good lunch. I would have taken a photo, but it wasn't. It wasn't very good at all, guys. It was very disappointing. What is that? What is up with me being disappointed with food lately? I'm just like I should just stay at home and cook because I don't know. Going out to restaurants right now just it just hasn't been fun. So basically. To, I have to finish this vlog now because it's almost almost 2 p.m. and this vlog has to go out and then I also have to do some Patreon stuff this afternoon because it's almost the end of the month over on Patreon and I still have a video and a sketchbook tour to do so I think it's going to be the first of the month next month so if you guys are interested in popping over and checking it out um, next week would be a good time because it's the start of the month and you'll get to see like all everything that pops in as well as I think it's like four months worth since March of content so yeah if you want to do that I'll leave the link in the description and so I thought I'd better finish the vlog here. I haven't filmed anything all morning, but I have been on the computer doing my sketchbook postcards. So all of my scans that I scanned in, I picked ones that I thought would look good. I have five exterior ones and five interior ones, and I basically edited them all on Photoshop. They're not as good as I would like them to be, so I might take them into Procreate and touch them up a little bit. But I'm also not sure if I like these like this. Like, I've laid them out kind of how my sketchbook is so if it's a spread i'll have like all my little uh doodles on there for the exterior ones but i don't know if it looks a little bit messy i don't know if people want want them so i'll pop them on screen let me know if these are the kind of things like obviously if you say oh i like these i'm not gonna expect you know you to place an order i don't really have anyone to ask about this so i thought i'd ask you guys because you know me you watch my videos you know my art kind of i think maybe if you've been around here for a while if not hi um i'm april hi this is the end of the vlog i mean if you've made it this far you know who i am but now uh so yeah let me know um i'm not gonna send them out yet to get them printed i'll probably wait a week because it only takes like a week to get printed and stuff so i'll probably wait a week and in the meantime maybe work on some prints or some gift cards or something there should be another studio vlog out next week i do want to do more stuff towards etsy like i'll probably start trying to take photos of things of like the stickers and stuff oh i was meant to do those fox stickers today i haven't done those yet <laughs> whoops i'll do those next week but you guys saw the fox stickers i think they're really cute but Gertie was having a bit of a moment so I just gave up on Friday on Saturday but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling because I just feel like I'm just going on to this big ramble right now and I'm just gonna go so I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog and have a lovely rest of your week I will catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye